hello guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you're welcome i am an aim coach and i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is basically me showing you how to make liberian pepper sauce so without further ado let us get into it i'm gonna go and wash my hands I hope you're all having a lovely day today. Today is Tuesday and I've just come back from school run. So in case you're wondering, you know, why am I dressed like official? Now, in summer, it's officially summer in the UK, but in the mornings it's cold. That's why we put on, a, you know, either a denim jacket or a blazer or a jumper for school runs. Okay, so um, I've got my frying pan okay with cooking oil in there so that's that basically okay and then i've also got my wooden spoon or mingling stick depending on which part of the world you're in um and then i've got my blender here which i'm going to be using to blend the pepper okay so this is a cook works brand and i got it from argos for those of you who are in the uk um it's a two pole speed um blender and yeah you can get it from argos but if you if you have a food processor you can use that as well for blending your pepper and um i've got myself a cup less than half a cup of water uh, yep yeah. and I've got all-purpose seasoning sea life is a Jamaican brand okay it's a Caribbean land a, a brand sorry and then I've got table of salt and then I've got tomato paste and then Maggie cube but all these ingredients and then my lastly chilies okay now i'm not going to do a lot because i don't want it to last too long because i've already got condiments that we use and i used vegetable oil okay so let us get into blending so i've already washed my chili peppers but let me bring you guys a little bit closer let me lower this a little bit okay so you just need to To remove the stems at the end of your at the top of your um chili okay and because this is so peppery i'd advise that you open your windows and do it preferably at a time where your children are not at home otherwise if you have children like myself otherwise they'll be coughing because it's so spicy so i tend to make my spices when either they're already in bed and their room is far from the kitchen um i open my windows and close my kitchen door yeah or when they're in school so right now they're in school so because even for me it's chilly it's too um it's peppery but i don't really mind it too too tough
I'm able to cope with it. So now I'm just going to pour this out. I'm going to add my water to help me blend it but you don't want a puree you want just rough chop okay so let me get my lid Heating my oil, by the way, on medium heat because you don't want it to burn. So let me start without adding water in. So I used the first pulse and um. And basically it's done the job that I want. So that's how you want it, rough chop, roughly chopped. Okay. Not pureed. And because if you pour water in your blender, you might just puree it. So try it without adding water first. Okay. Now, I'm adding the water in the jug right now because I want it to help me to Okay, so when you're putting in your chili, chili peppers, make sure that you're away from it as far as possible um, because you don't want to burn because when the oil is too hot, it bubbles. So you have to be careful with that. Now I'm going to put the rest. into normally you add water in this chili to um to help it cook but because i've already done it from the beginning i won't need to add any more water
Somewhat to do with my up. I'm just trying to get rid of like all the pepper. Right, so I washed out my blender so I don't have to be concerned about, you know, touching chili later and all of that. Good stuff. And then I just let it cook. <laughs> That's how it looks, right? You see what I mean about making you sneeze? Oh gosh. Yeah. So now what I'll need to do is add <coughs> add my ingredients. Um the rest of my ingredients. So a teaspoon of all purpose seasoning. And then my magic cube. This one is a hard one, so I'm not going to try and crumble it. It will crumble itself. When I put it in the pan. Start tidying away my ingredients, the rest of them. Um, I just sprinkle some salt on there. Less than a teaspoon because all purpose seasoning has salt in it. Okay, the shop brands they put salt in them. Okay, and then also Maggie Cube has salt in it, so that is why I don't put a lot of actual salt, plain salt. 
when I'm cooking. I don't put a lot, okay? So I always put less than a teaspoon unless the unless the recipe requires more than I need to need to separate my thing. <laughs> I'm going to put all the tomato paste. But if you're using the bigger can of tomato paste you need and you're and you're making more chili more of this chili sauce than I am, then you need to make put at least two to three tablespoons or even four tablespoons of tomato paste. So that's it, get rid of this. So this is how it's looking. So you just have to um to stir in your seasoning to blend it well. I'm going to need to add a little bit more um a little bit more tomato paste in there. ingredients for what I'm going to cook today. So this is just tomato puree. Okay, this is a different brand that I have opened.
because I want a thick consistency of the pepper sauce. Make sure you keep mixing. So that it doesn't get burnt. Now this pepper sauce can be used to eat kala, which is a Liberian snack, okay? And um, it can also be used to, to eat, you know, your rice and shoe and so many other meals it can be put on the side any meal that needs chili sauce or chili in there you can add this pepper sauce to on the side to eat it okay so things like yam and stew rice and stew uh kala the snack So I'm making this because I'm going to make color, which would be a separate video. this in the pan wash my hands so because I've just added some more um, tomato paste I'm going to add a little bit of seasoning <coughs> <coughs> so I'm going to add a little bit more of the My hands slippery because I washed it. So, just another teaspoon of the all purpose, the all purpose seasoning.
So, to store it, I'm going to just put it in a jar. So, I'm just going to put it in an airtight jar and put it in the fridge. Okay, so you can put it in a jar or in a Tupperware and put it in the fridge and use it up so that it lasts a bit longer. So I'm just waiting for the water to to finish, like the bubbling to finish completely. So so then I store it in my jar. You see, like. It's bubbling and that means there's still a bit of water in there so I need the water and the seasoning to that proper cook up before I take it off but otherwise that's it guys it brings us to the end of this video I'll show you the end product in a short video, which will be uploaded on the channel. So that's it, guys. I shall see you in the next video. Bye.